Too What's sorry, the sorry. most important thing that the EU has done for women? I think that I would go for, in a positive fashion, if we're going to look at what the most positive thing they've done is, I think the work that the EU does for women in the area of human rights, um, that is an area that, that we can all uh, identify with whichever member state you belong to, and the fact that we work together and we can empower women and um, educate people to know, for example, female genital mutilation, um, trafficking, forced marriages. Those are the positive areas, and those are the areas I believe the EU should be focusing on, as opposed to, as I've said before, legislation, um, and especially employment law. Um, often, I, I was just thinking, you, you, when you commented about what, how do the women feel about the EU and what can we say to the women, I was thinking, you, if I'm a, I am a woman, hold on, I'm a woman and I work, if I'm a woman, <laughs> sometimes wonder. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a robot today. <laughs> Anyway, you're a woman, you work, you have children, you have to pay the bills, you're pushing that trolley. Reality is, you don't think about the EU, you just survive and get through and juggle those balls. So I don't know if the EU can actually help women juggling everyday balls um, and, you know, the, the everyday life. It, it, we can empower women so they are more educated in, in their choices I think, more than um, legislate. Le le legislation in the UK is quite good anyway. So, I'm so you don't think that legislation that's been introduced uh, in Britain, thanks to the EU, has helped protect rights, has helped the welfare of women? Legislation in the UK has been introduced due to maybe uh, um, sharing of practice, yes, and that can help. But I wouldn't like the EU to push more legislation, especially on small businesses. I mean, we talked about Alan Sugar, but I'd like to talk about SMEs. Um, and the problem that the maternity directive had it gone through, and by the way, it wasn't a maternity directive. It was a very good directive on health and safety of pregnant workers, which suddenly got hijacked and became this maternity. And because um, it was pushed to such an extent uh, by parliament, it was further than the Commission had envisioned at the time. It got put on the back burner. 